Today I'm making a cover out of two cereal boxes, a book page, fabric that came from the sleeves of a garment, and my masterboard. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie and I'm going to make the cover for, <laughs> for my journal. And oh gosh, I got, I need the same. Well, we'll see. Okay, so um, my cover that I had ended up too thin. The, the spine was not big enough and <laughs> too thin and too, too tall. So we're switching it out and going to make a cereal box cover. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut off one of the, the sides. Okay. So I need to mark that so I can see where it needs to cut on this side. I should have pulled out the recollections cutter. It, it cuts through more surface area. Okay. So there I've got a flat edge. So the first thing I want is I need a flat, a flat edge. And so I've got that. Okay. So now I'm going to want to be six inches. Okay, so I'm going to come over and I'm going to measure that right at six inches. We're going to go ahead this time and we're going to use the natural crease of the cereal box. Okay, so we're going all the way to the end. And hopefully, ah, we didn't, we didn't go all the way through. But that's okay, because look at what we can do here. Okay, so there's that. And now we need to, to cut this one at six inches. Okay, so I'm going to line my spine up at six inches. And cut it, and then I'm going to do this, the, um, this side, okay? So we'll lay it down, we'll use this edge, and this needs to be nine, nine inches. I want my journal to be nine by six. Okay, now we can turn that over and line that up right with this edge right here. See, I've got a, and there we go. That easy. I have my first, okay, so the outside, okay, just like that, okay, how exciting, yay, okay, now I need to cut, I need another one, so we'll take our Honey Nut Cheerio box, we'll start with that. So do you do single cereal boxes, two cereal boxes, <coughs> or three? Or do you use, I mean, or, because I also have like brownie boxes that I use. And I have some popcorn boxes that I'm going to use pretty soon because I want to make a small, um, a small journal. Okay. So nothing like being last minute. I mean, I was so far ahead on this journal and ended up behind. But I have all the elements except the cover and it being bound in and everything put in it. So, um, and then I need to do just a little bit of stenciling and stamping in it because that's one of the things you had to do too. Okay, so there's that. Let's go over here and we'll get our nine, nine inches. We'll take care of that real quick. Nine inches. Line it up. Okay. 
nine inches from this side. And I am throwing my pieces away today. Actually, they'll go in the garden. Um, in the walkway. Um, let's see. So, um, now, if I just take this and put this in the journal, then um, I'm going to end up, it's going to be too big. Okay? So, we're going to go ahead and we'll cut this at a little bigger than six inches. Whoa, wait a minute. I need to go to the small one. This one, okay? On the inside, because otherwise we'd be cutting across. <laughs> Okay, there's one six inch. There's my other six inch. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn this, whoa, sorry. Um, I heard there were earthquakes up north. I haven't heard what their, um, what they ended up being, but I heard Heard they had some. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this at six inches. Okay, that's going to give me one cover. I did take the panel off. <laughs> I ripped it off. So I could use it possibly. So the, the flower, or flower, the fabric that you see behind, underneath is the fabric I'm planning to use. Okay, so I'm going to six inches, and you see I'm on the inside of the six inch mark. Okay, there's that. So that gives me my front and back. And then I'm going to just cut a sliver off of each side of this. Okay, so that it's not, um, so my journal is not sitting in, I mean, the, there needs to be some space so you can open and close it, okay? So this is different. I don't know that I've ever shown making one this way. Okay, so I've got this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my shiny side back to back. Yep, let's use the bottom of this. Because I'm, 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 it's they're stacking up over here. I've got a few of them that they take too long to use on camera. And lately, I've been, I've got so many other things I'm doing that um, you're s mostly seeing all, all that I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to put that in there. There's, so that's going to go in the center. I want to make sure that we can open and close. Okay, so that side's really good hold it down okay just so you can see I ended up taking my scissors out and going back and forth on this side um, this side seemed to be fine but this side I had I was having an issue I also had um, glue coming out so let's grab us a baby wipe so that we can keep cleaning up the glue that's coming out. <laughs> okay, so do it again. So just, I'm just using my handles of my scissors, pressing it down, okay. So 
Very, very good. Okay, so now I need to put it on the two edges. Um, you guys, this um, fabric was a sleeve. So I have cut that. It was in Sally's, um, Sally's stuff. And so I went ahead and I cut that out. So we want to make sure that this is a fit. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing again, starting start with the center and then I do want to make sure I have glue all the way around the outside so I am going to add fabric to the cover I am going to put part of my master board on the inside pages and I am going to then I have to work on the cover <laughs> okay so I'm totally excited. Um, you guys, I actually think I like my other glue better. My, um, the blue. But we're get, we started with this, so we'll, we'll continue. Okay, so you see I'm going to try and leave a little bit of area in here so that this can see that. Yes, that is awesome. Come over to this side, check it out. Okay. I don't know what the deal is here, but we're gonna go ahead and put this down. Wow, it's it found a sticky spot. <laughs> it was ready to go. Um so I've been working on new digitals. I will have several. Um, I just needed to do finishing touches. Um, and I was able to do that while I was doing, um, helping with the commitment that I needed to take care of. So. So, um, the VIPs, they got their, um, kit and you will get to see that if I have it ready, um, it'll be out this afternoon. Actually, um, it'll be out Thursday, Thursday, let's say Thursday. Um, but I have other kits coming out with it and, um. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and so it looks like the rainy day kit is finally gonna happen. And then I have a kit called Far Far Away that is beautiful landscape, um, but very spring colors. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait for that one. Um, so, okay, so I need to see what happened here because we've got a little bit of an edge. So, yeah, so this is a, a very real video we got here. Okay, so I apparently cut this not straight. So. Okay. So. Okay, so did you guys ever make any of those um, photo albums back in the day? Back in the day. Um, 
well, we're kind of, we're kind of going to do that, but because I have pieces, um, I don't have a, a full piece. Everything had seams. So, um, okay, we need to, sorry, need to use the scissors around the outside of this also. Okay. I'm very happy with the way this is going. Now, this, it's still bendy, but we will be adding two more layers of glue and two more um, things. If I was really concerned about it, we could go ahead and also add in, I think we will, let's add a book page to each. Um, we'll do that on on the outside, okay? And I'm going to switch glues, okay? So I'm switching to my Tombow Mono, and we will, oops, we'll use the, oh, I guess this one's not too, too far down. Clean off the bottom. Now you can see on this one, see how it has the ridges? I like that. So the, the other one does not have the ridges. And um, I think that the ridges actually help hold. I'm not sure. <laughs> In my mind, they do. Okay, so this is going to give us another layer of glue and a layer of paper. I just happen to have a book that's supposed to be, the pages I think are nine by six ish. Okay. I can cut off any that's sticking over the top or the bottom. Okay. And I'm not worried. My spine is going to end up with um, several layers. So, this will just give us a little bit more stability making our book board. If you're worried, you can go ahead and add a third cereal box or whatever kind of box you're using. I've seen people do this with just one box also. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and clean up the, the glue. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna wanna cut those, um, these off before I do my fabric. Okay, so my inside, I'm very happy with this. And I can tell a difference just from adding that onto the edge. I can, I can feel, and the glue hasn't even dried yet. When the glue dries, it will dry and um, make it even harder. Okay, so we're going to turn this over. Sorry about that. I did it again. And we are going to be adding this. Um, it's, it was a sleeve. I'm pretty sure it was a sleeve. Okay. And I, you know what? We'll go ahead and lay it down. Shit, I hit you again. I need, I'm working on a different, uh, configuration for, for that. I'm going to be covering the binding with something else. So I'm okay. Um, that that this is how this is going to happen okay i am not going to rip it because i am not sure where the salvage edge is on this isn't this pretty fabric so both of my fabrics for these um for my challenge journals came from um, sally's stash Ok, 
Okay, so there's, that's going to give me that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to lift this. We're going to do our corner and we'll do all of that um, on fast motion. Okay, I'm going to, um, I need to cut my other side. <laughs> cut my other side. This one, is that going to be big enough? No, so let's go. Just, there was a small side and a larger side. Okay, that's that's going to be big enough. I don't want it. I don't want the two pieces to to double over. Okay, and I need to make sure that I have the wrong side. Okay, so lining them up, and we can go ahead and cut around this. I'm leaving between a half an inch and an inch around the outside. That's actually more than I usually do, but I also don't usually always do this on camera. Believe it or not, it's faster to not be filming, to just going for it. <laughs> okay, so I have my two pieces, and I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to leave them where they are, and I'm going to put my glue on my, on my journal cover. And remember, my cover has the book page. That's how we're going to remember that this is the cover. Okay, and I'm going to do one side. And then I'll come over here and get this side started. Okay, around the edge. And in the, the seam. Okay, mark it set. Stay down. <laughs> don't have you don't have to come up with me. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, let's line those up and turn it over. Okay. Okay. want to turn it over so that I can get out any wrinkles. You don't want any wrinkles or crinkles. Okay, now we'll pull this side over and we'll finish this side out. I kept telling myself, you got to go make that cover. But I was having fun making digitals. When I pull all this stuff out to make digitals, I just want, it's like, I just want to do that. But that's okay. Okay, here we go. Go down, come this way. Okay. So I don't see any crinkles, wrinkles, we're good. And this is all clear. Let's clean that right there. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Now I want to get a little bit better cutting job here. Okay. So I'm going to straighten this side out. And I'll probably have to make something in this journal out of this fabric. 
we used um, the other fabric for the flips and the pockets and everything in this one. But I think they'll go together well because the leaves on this one are that, that teal color like the cover of the other one is. So I like the fabric of the other one is. Okay, so there we go. Starting to see a little bit of curl. Um, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and come in and I'm gonna start with my top and my bottom edge. Okay. And I want to have a little bit more glue. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put that over. We'll come down here and put this one over. Okay, then I'm gonna come and pull this. Okay, first I'm gonna go ahead and cut in. Okay, and then I'll come up here. I'm using my resist the sticky scissors. Okay, so I have a nice mitered corner here. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Been a while. Okay, uh, you can't see that. Okay, so we're going to come in from this angle. I've got two little goodies. And I do always have uh, the metal corners just in case I mess up a corner. I can fix, uh, fix it with one of those metal corners, which it might even be pretty on this book anyway. Okay, so we need to come down here and... Love this. Okay. So mitered, mitered corner. Just like that. Mitered corner. Okay. Um, okay. What do we got going on over here? Hard to cut in this direction. Okay, so we're supposed to have rain, possibly, for about an hour, if we have any, <laughs> out of this next storm. Where we live, like I've told you many times, we don't get rain. It does not come to where I live at my house unless it's coming from the southwest. And so some of the stuff I saw last night showed the rain was coming from, or expected to come from the Southwest, so. So very grateful for the rain. Um, the lake by near where I grew up is um, at, I think last I saw, 64%. And so that is awesome. Um, I, love, I love that lake. I grew up fishing there as a little girl with my grandparents and camping there. And then... As a crow flies, as a grown-up, I lived about a mile from there. It was further than a mile in a car, though. I love, I love my lake.
spent a lot of time there with my mom, with my family. Um, when my kids were older, we would pack up and go. It took us two trips because I just had a little sedan car and to take all of our stuff to be there for days. Um, and then, um, my, my dad and, and I, we would go to work where we both, we worked in different places, but, um, my mom would stay with the kids and my brother loved being out there. My brother, Zach. So, well, we all did. I am so excited for, for the lake. It is a, um, a water lake, oh, a water lake, <laughs> a drinking reservoir. So you cannot swim in it. Um, you're not even supposed to touch it, but you can fish and there are boats. So, okay. I love that. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so next we need to do the inside and I have the master board for the inside and um, it's going to just fit. Okay, so I have to decide which side I want. I think I want this to be on the inside front. Okay, so I'm going to cut this. Um, just a little bit under the nine by six. Okay. So I'm going to start with the six part. We'll turn it upside down because I can feed that through here. Okay. We'll put you up there. Oh, I just saw the VIP. Um, the thing is in here. I didn't even know it was in here. The digital is in here. Okay, so there's that. Okay, and it's at a uh, little more than five and three quarters. And then we'll go in this direction. And there's nine inches. So let's take it down. to a little less than that, okay? A little less than nine. And I made this several days ago, so it is dry. You don't wanna be cutting your master board with a cutter if it's not dry. Okay, and remember I used book pages for the back. And so that will give me one. Let's go ahead and put it in because I don't know what I'm going to do with this other one yet. So we'll get this one put in. And um, so my plan is to have um, probably a piece of this. I, I don't know if I, if I don't use this fabric in here, if I use something else, then I've got enough to do another journal with it. But you know what? Might as well use it. Get it over with. Get it out of the craft room. Okay, so um, since we are putting this down, okay, and all of this is going to eventually be covered, I don't know what I'm going to make for dinner. I think I'll go to the can pantry. I've been trying different things that we have in our um, pantry to s just different recipes using the the things that I've been collecting. And so far so far, so good. They have all been, actually, they've all been really good so far. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, I'm using the the towel so I don't get the glue on my fingers. <laughs> as long as I don't pull it on the, the napkin, I think we'll be okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. I love, love, love it. So I'm going to be finishing this today and then putting it under the big books. And then we will do whatever I'm going to do to the to finish the cover, we'll do that tomorrow. So I have this. So we have that, or we have this. I think we're gonna go with this, this side, okay? Um, because I just, I don't wanna lose, we'll lose the numbers, all the, all the things. So again, go ahead and I'm watching the other one. And we're going to go under six. Okay. So I will have that to make something else out of. And then I have this way. So just under the nine, like right there. I love the way this master board turned out. I absolutely, I love it. I think it turned out really cool. The last couple that I've gotten to do, I think have been really, turned out really pretty. Okay, so we wanna go across the, right up to the edge, because we wanna make sure we get a good piece, or good down, <laughs> good place to hold. <laughs> Okay, then we'll turn this around and we'll go around the outside of this. So, okay, and put this down. I, I can't remember who I saw doing this and I was like, oh my gosh, it's been quite a while ago. I was like, wow, that's, and it works. So far, um, I haven't ruined anything by um, doing it. <laughs> okay, just gotta be careful wherever there's napkins. Okay, so that is my um, journal so far. And um, I have to decide what I'm gonna do in that center. Okay, we do not have enough of the cloth napkin left. There is not enough of the piece of fabric. So, so this is the fabric. You see it matches those. Um, don't have enough of that left. Okay, so you know what? We'll take a sleeve. See which one's the bigger, see if there's a bigger piece. <laughs> They're both the same. Okay. Um, okay, it looks like it, it's close, but let's try, let's try ripping it. Okay, yeah. Because I like the silver, the frayed edges. That's, that's why. Um, you know, I, I like the frayed edges. So, um, yeah, so really excited about the next challenge. Um, the, the Patreons are, have started to get to see what we're doing and, 
um, I've gotten a really good response from them. So um, I think it's might be the challenge many people have been waiting for. So if, uh, if you know of somebody that hasn't been around for a little while and the challenge is, you might tell them to come, come back. And I'll tell you what we'll do. We will have, um, it's our VIP is going to be amazing. Okay. For this particular challenge. And so, yeah, that's all I'm going to tell you. That's, that's your, that's sort of a hint, sort of. Okay. So, um, there we go. We did. Oh, don't even tell me. I cut it. I cut it. Did I cut it too short? I might have because this side is falling in. Okay. Well, what's the story here? We're going to cut a second one. It's a good thing I had a whole half a sleeve or a whole sleeve, huh? <laughs> so, yes, I actually do like to use junk in my journals. I, I really like to use clothing pieces like this was apparently like a shirt that um sally had taken apart and i think it is awesome okay so we're gonna go ahead and put some glue there we'll put glue on the inside piece and then i will come back and glue the other side, okay? We're gonna get this going. We'll have this all taken care of and be able to put it down and then we'll come back um, and work on tomorrow's. I will, um, I'll, put a, I'll put some video of what my big books look like. They are big, they're just big books. That I have. <laughs> Look at how beautiful that is. Okay, so now I have my little my alley. Oh, where's my pen top? There it is. I like to use a pen top and get in that gutter. Okay. Connecting my fabric to the glue in there, hopefully. Wow. So we've been in the hot tub several, <laughs> several nights. It has been, it has been really cold, but it's, as long as you, um, are in the water, it's amazing. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So that is set. Go ahead and do one more. Okay, very, 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 very good. Okay, now we're gonna come over here, make sure we get some glue in that hole. Okay, I wanna figure out how far over I can go with my glue. Okay, don't go as far as the yellow. Go up, come back. So we ended up with, um, a bigger piece in the front, that's okay. I'm picking up the the frays that are in my way. Frays that are in my way. Okay. Because I wanted to see those numbers. You know me. I want those. I want to see those numbers. 
Um, let's go ahead and grab the glue. Okay, so I'm getting this off first. Then I'm going to come back and figure out where, where our line is. So my first page inside this journal is the, the lady with the Easter lilies. So So this week, um, well today is today is my dad's birthday. Um, and he would have been 81. So he's celebrating that birthday in heaven. And then tomorrow is one year since Sally went to heaven. And Friday is four years since my mom went to heaven. So it's an emotional week. So many of you have been here for that, that journey. Okay, so there we are. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And so just so you can see, I took, I stole this off the cover of that other thing. So I will be redoing something with that. So come back tomorrow and see that. Come back tomorrow and see how we finish up the spine, finish up the cover, um, I think I'm going to do a hitch post fastener for this and, um, yeah, so I need it to dry a little bit more before I can put it under the big books, but I'm going to call this journal cover ready for phase two because it does, it has to go and sit under those covers or under those books so that it will, um, lay flat. It will dry flat. Because with this much glue and not drying in between, it could um, it could flip up. So remember, I do still have my um, my little goodie here, and it could it could go on the the binding. It could go on the cover. What do you think? What do you think we could have and then have another pocket or have a pocket or a belly band on the inside? Kind of like that could be a pocket on the cover and then could have a little goodie on the inside. So we'll see. We will see. Come back tomorrow and um, hopefully tomorrow we'll be doing that. And I'm going to go get these under the big book. So look, we got a good, good story dirty edge. Um, two cereal boxes, a piece of my book page, and the fabric and the master board is what we have in here. I do have to find something for this. Um, I, I'm looking I, right here. I did pull out, I did pull out this. And I can go and check the um, situation of lace. We could put, if I did lace, I could put something under it. So that covering up that spot where I, yeah, cover up that spot. And then, not this one, but this kind of, not, not, not this lace. So, yeah, so um, come back for that. And don't forget that on Friday, we are having our fifth Friday sale. So it's the fifth Friday of the month. So we are going to, we're having a sale. It is um, all kinds of things, supplies, 
um, de-stash some things that I accidentally bought more than one of. And um, so we'll pass that on. And yeah, so lots going on here. Lots going on. Thank you all that have been watching another video after this one. And those that have been commenting. Um, we are starting to see a difference. We have people that have said that they actually, uh, when they uh, are start to watch one of my videos, that they are showing more of my videos in their feed down below. And so I really do appreciate that. It really does make a difference. And it just costs, costs you a little bit of time to click on that. Um, click on another video and interact with the video. So liking or disliking and um, leaving a comment. Those things really make a difference and I really, really appreciate it. So yeah, it's disappointing to be here so long and, and have uh, videos now not being seen. So thank you all so very much. And I hope you'll come back tomorrow. We'll be here at 1030 Pacific Standard Time. If you're a VIP, I'm going to see you at 1 o'clock. Your link will be in the VIP um, in the room. And I hope you liked all the decorations. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. So I put the big books on top. These are my big books. Oh, I need to move it over. <laughs> so, yeah. And that's what I do. I put them on and I'll leave them there overnight. And when I come back, they'll be dry and flat, hopefully. <laughs> so, there you I go. I switched it up and put them down this way. They're still pretty heavy. So, I have the two smaller books on this one and the larger one over here.